Charlotte, star. I know what it feels like to be laid out on a dissection table, put to chemicals that fill the room, my arms and legs like a star. She made the first incision, slit down the center just below the sternum, opened like a book flap. Organs packed like a puzzle, like a small suitcase when you don't want to pay the extra $20 to check a second bag at the airport, like my first apartment on the Upper East Side, where the air was made of stale smoke and humidity. No space for movement or breath. A wet finger pokes into my abdomen. She removes my organs to study them. Air enters the vacant holes in my book pages, a centerfold with a protruding seam. My cramped suitcase is unpacked by airline security, and for the first time, I don't mind. To feel a real exhalation without holding, my limbs relax and let go, sink into steel. I fantasize about putting my body in an old-fashioned torture device, the kind where you lay on your back with your arms and legs like a star, where your limbs each get pulled in a different direction, eventually detaching from your body. I don't want my limbs detached, I just want my body to stretch out. I need to extend my limbs to make more room for my organs. Fall out, my formaldehyde spills over to the floor, linoleum, hardwood, plate glass over the Grand Canyon, made missing by no more large intestine, uterus, pancreas, bladder, deluge. Don't you know how to hold a hip? I am only capable of pouring.